All right, you are still watching Ways World Ho um, Oral Health Day. <laughs> 2023 is observed on the March 20, 20th um, annually to unite the people to help reduce the burden of oral disease as they affect individuals, health, um, of course, individuals, health systems and economies everywhere. And the main aim of the day is to empower people with the knowledge, tools and confidence to secure good oral health. Now, this thing, eh, <laughs> I see people lose jobs because of, uh, on top of Mouth yeah. odor. Yeah. On top of poor oral hygiene. Mm. Um, people don't understand the impact this has. Yeah. Some people have very, very terrible self esteem because, you know, they've tried all sorts of yeah. things and they can't seem to find, you know, this affects relationships. I mean, I can't kiss you mm -hmm. with bad breath. I'm sorry. You know, I'm very finicky. That's why I'm, in fact, I avoid kissing. <laughs> I avoid kissing because. <laughs> You know, um, I don't, I don't, I don't fancy bad breath at all. <laughs> Nobody you should know. actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a terrible, it's, it's a, a very terrible, terrible thing. thing. But some people, terrible. you know, you wonder, and that was why I said to, at some point I was saying that the advent of the COVID, when people started wearing nose the mask. nose mask, mm -hmm. I think it helped to some great extent mm. to bring the consciousness of mouth hygiene or oral hygiene, because now you are smelling your smell breath. <laughs> You know, yeah, people became a lot more conscious. Like, ah, is this how my mouth is smelling? So people, no, it's true. Because this time it's you, you are blessing I've never, I've never that's, seen it that yeah, way. Yeah, that no, I'm the serious. The premise that they even know No, no, no at that point they will smell it. Because oh. it's, it's going directly inside of You know, when they, when they are like, you know, mm. it's difficult. Mm. So I think that, that, um, that really helped. Because I know a lot of people that didn't know. That they had mm -hmm. really bad breath until they started wearing nose masks mm -hmm. and ah, wait, is this how? So people don't started paying. So there was a lot of toothpaste and uh, toothbrush, mouthwash, you know, that buying <laughs> and mints and all of that, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But how do you help someone that has bad breath? What do you do? You do you talk to I, the person? I want to share a, a personal experience. Quick, 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 oh, okay, so um, I was in school and there's this girl. I mean, pretty girl, brilliant girl. She had this terrible mouth odor. I mean, and she didn't know. Hmm. She didn't know. So I kept thinking, oh, how, how, how? And then one day we we're just having girls talk and all that. And I was like, oh, that reminds me, oh, I have a blister in my mouth, too much brushing and all that. I said, by the way, does anybody brush their tongue? And everybody was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this girl was like, you brush your tongue? Oh, wow. Ew. Yeah. That was where the, the Exactly. Was she was like, you brush your tongue? I've never heard of that before. And she comes from an elite family. Ew. Yeah. So that's why I said some people don't know. And then that right there, we all said, we oh, her. you need to brush your tongue. You even need to probably get a tongue scraper, and you know, just so. And so that was where the deliverance Oh, happened. my goodness. Next day, <laughs> we were popping. Wow. Okay. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, I think, so, I think you should always help people. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't so. fancy gossip. Mm. If I catch you, you have bad Some breath. people might not take it in good yeah. place. That's the thing. Yeah. Some people might you will find like a way work. to take it. Except you want to stay far away from me. Me, I just wait till maybe when there's some form of maybe we have to share gifts or something oh, like that. You, you go and buy their toothbrush and toothpaste. No, no. I, I'll, I'll <laughs> buy something <laughs> that's going to at least maybe do that. Actually, <laughs> actually <laughs> to brush your teeth. That is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I can help you. Mm. So please, let's help people. <laughs> no, but really, I also think that if dental care were more no. affordable. Yeah, it's really expensive. It's expensive. Very, expensive. Very, expensive. very, very expensive. I remember expensive. when I first went to the our family um, dental clinic. You know, I have colored teeth, mm. right? And it was as a result of medicine that was administered. Oh. So it stained my yeah. teeth. So she, she was expecting maybe she was going to see some things. Amongst everybody that had white teeth, my teeth, my, my, she said, ah, wow, this is your, yeah, I said, yes, yeah, because and you can't stand near my mother. I have body odor or mouth odor or whatever. Odor. <laughs> my mother, will, she will literally remove your tongue. Yeah, and and it helps you. Yeah. It. But I think, I think the, the onus is on people yeah. around. Yeah. Because some people don't know that they have, you mm -hmm. know, those things, bad true. breath and all of that. Yeah, true. Let's just, let's just try people. Mm -hmm. All right, so quickly, we've run out of time. Oh, yeah. What did we find in the news? Delay in declaring Adamawa governor results. Oh, sure. You know, Reminding so. me again. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, so this is, uh, you know, when all the cloud, well, all the gist was everywhere about um, the lady governor, mm. you know, and there was a lot of um, congratulations and all that, you know. So this was um, Atiku, well, obviously he knew something and there were local governments that had not been counted. Mm. So he just felt like... Um, he Warning said, people. Yeah, he appealed to people to you know, to let INE conclude the result collation and declare the results and avoid putting the state in crisis, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, quickly, then, I mean, just about a couple of hours ago, we saw that um, the governor, the sitting governor, you know, won with um, a margin of 30,000, um, it's still baffling, 30,981 mm. to... Um, I shot to that hero, but I mean, a very big well done to her. Like, you said. yeah, we're going to talk more on that. Mm. I'm curious to hear what our guest has to say about, you know, mm. how far she went. Mm. Um, but let me take your your news. Okay, so um, again, fire got airport hotel in Lagos. Um, uh, it was then that fire started at about one p.m. today, mm. and um, the place has been engulfed by fire. I'm not sure about the word engulfed, though. But yeah, the fire started about 1 p.m. And then this, this comes two years after a fire incident was reported already on the premises of the hotel. So it's been said that this is the second time in the space of two years that they're experiencing something. And this is actually due to carelessness of... Um, no, that hotel, I think they need to actually... Do they have guests there? That they still, that funny, right? no, they, they still, still do, do actually. But they I think do. that hotel... You know, they need to really just demolish and, and rebuild. Build. It's an old I, structure. I, I, I agree with that. It's an old structure. And they have, they, I mean, they have so, so much land space, land space yes. you know. And look at what is happening with the advent of all these franchises with that international mm -hmm, hotels. Mm, mm. They, they would have been making so, so much. That's true. And that it's particular hotel and um, Sheraton. I think they just need to re... re mm. Sheraton needs to... <laughs> I think they are <laughs> going down. Yeah, yeah, they have to. They have to rebrand. Just mm. bring down the entire structure and rebuild. Mm. All right, so some good news that I thought it was worth mentioning because it's hard to find these days. Um, if they can find the video for me. Mm. Yeah, quickly, just let's see the video. I am using this opportunity to introduce this Mr. Timothy to everybody who shows concern. Yesterday around 4 p.m., I mistakenly transferred 10.8 million into his account. And he came on his phone to come and return the money back to me. Jesus! He's my mechanic. If you have a car, and you want somebody to be honest, to repay your bill, let me describe it. If now me mm. Mr. Timothy, I'll fetch chicken. Eh? Now nah. what? The next thing will switch off your phone. Yes. When you switch off your phone, you go call, calculate. Say okay, where am I going? To? My fortunes have finally yeah. arrived. Where is my family? Pack your Let's go. go. Straight. Because I mean, in this tough economy, mm -hmm. yeah, where it seems like everybody's dishonest yeah you know when you see things like this it should you be should celebrated, really celebrate absolutely them. because he would have easily absolutely. and guess what there's nothing anybody mm. can do yeah <sighs> the <sighs> bank mm -hmm. guess what he needs to just do he needs to just move the money to another so account, account. Uh -huh. you move, move move like this money has disappeared it has, yeah you know but wow. he did the honorable thing i remember person. when you know because I've, I've had that encounter several times. There was a time I was, I was in the bank and the um, teller was supposed to post 400,000. She mm. posted 4 million. If you see the way she was panicking, she was fronting. She was, I was not wondering why you panicked. You say, ah, madam, you will not understand. <laughs> that not many people would yeah. come. Immediately she said, I have not gone too far from the bank. I just turned back and mm. wrote back the whatever, yeah. the check and paid it. Like, I don't know how she did it, but she yeah. sorted it out and removed because she paid an extra. So she had an, an, had, had an, an extra, she had an ah. extra zero. Do you understand? Oh so I've had this encounter several times where people want to transfer one yeah. hundred thousand, yeah. 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 and all of that. So when you now see, in especially with in this situation, how hard hmm. the times have you know been of recent. 10.6 million. Wow. Uh -huh. I said I go switch off phone. So he probably went you to understand? the bank. Yeah. I, oh gosh. So I, I'm, 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 I'm really proud of the guy. Yeah. Because yeah. again, you look at him. And you see what I say to people that like, the honest people. And see, uh, you, you, you find honesty 
more amongst people that do, cannot even cannot afford. Have, yeah, that do, do not have. Yeah. Even that's why when banks are loaning money, they prefer to loan mm -hmm. money to all these small people. Because yes. these small people, they are so afraid. So every little money they make, they quickly go and pay back. The people that owe more are the ones that people. are supposedly not supposed to owe because they have more uh, money to pay. Yeah, but they just sure. believe that like, I better wait you do, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, I, it's commendable, and I, I'll it say is. well done to the young man. Mm. So we'll take a break now. Let's discuss women matter, and our guests will join us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.